955 R and B for the Lou Isis Joes with you, y'all. It is the one and only uh, Wellness Wednesday, and um, I, I'm glad to be back and um, just talking to my, my my folks here in St. Louis. And today I have Heather Beal, who is an incredible choreographer. Um, if you've ever been to the Black Rep or or checked out some of the other events here in St. Louis, she is a main fixture and uh, just a beautiful woman, accomplished and accredited. And Heather, I thank you for being a part of the continuing conversation we have here on 955. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much. I'm, feel, I'm just so lucky to be asked. <laughs> I'm here. Girl, I love it. But uh, but sis, you have some things going on. And, and, and I love the fact that within what we're going through between COVID and between, um, you know, Black Lives Matter and, and, and our protesting, that no part of the uh, of Black reality is being missed in this conversation, and including dance. The One of the things I've been encouraged to see is dancers expressing yes. themselves and expressing us during all these protests and um I, I i follow frida of arrested development on instagram and you know just to have that 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 visual expression is so amazing to me i mean how have you been looking at that lens and how have you been participating in expressing what we're going through right now so um a lot of people who know my work know that i come from the legacy of Catherine Dunham um, and the seeds that she planted in East St. Louis. And um, growing up in that legacy, dance is activism, right? Dance is protest, particularly black dance. Anytime you have a black black body moving, that is resistance. And so um, that's how I choose to use my platform. Uh, so what I've been doing is I felt like we needed to move. Everybody's been trapped in the house for weeks on weeks on weeks. And then after the um, protest eruption, after the murder of George Floyd, I felt I needed to move and I felt I needed to move in a space with other black people. So um, I started uh, an open air dance class out in Lafayette Square Park. It's Thursdays at 6 p.m. It's free and open to a public. We have drummers, so I've been taking donations. Um, but it's just a space for us to move. It actually, I, I call it a black space. Everybody is welcome, but it's, it's, a, it's a space for black folks, and we're going to be black in the park. And we're we going to be free, and we're going to take up space. Um, and so that's how that's how I've been trying to, to heal myself and also provide healing, a space for healing, I would say, for other people, uh, for other black folks. Um, and I also um, am organized on, on a committee to organize um, black war dance. Uh, okay, for hold, hold on a second. What is exactly a war dance because you know when I read that I have my own interpretations of that but sis please break that down you I got you so we all know that the Haitian River well we might we might I not all know so the Haitian the, the Haitian Revolution happened yes yes the night Haitian Revolution they they gathered and they performed a war dance called Petro and that 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 energy energy Right, an energy that we needed for revolution, yes. and our revolution, black, and, and for me, black, black revolution comes out black war dance specifically. So I consider anything, any dance that we gather where a large group of black folks gather to dance is a black war dance to me. The electric slide is a black war dance. <laughs> is a black war dance. Right. The child. Black war dance, right? Because we have all that collective energy and we're building it. And right at any time, black joy is a form of resistance. So anytime that we're gathering and we're having this joy, that that's war, right? That's a, that 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 is my 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 fight in the war. And so um, so that's what my the dance action is for the black war dance. Um, it's going to be just a, a collective where we can get together safely and dance and have some joy we can do we can do our dances the dances that they create on tiktok now <laughs> them dances right but we can also um it's also a space for us to create our own war dance and y'all 
And y'all, and, and, and it is important. There are different ways to express. I have to admit, sis, I am not a, a, a I'm, I can do my little two-step, you know, left and right and whatnot. But I know there are a lot of people who, who really get into these, these different um, classes and who express themselves beautifully. And you have a lot of, you know, non-professional dancers who are just incredible. Um, but if we want to be a part of uh, your Lafayette Square Park dance um, um, collaboration and also the Juneteenth Black War Dance um, action celebration. How do we get in contact with you? So I, you can follow me on um, IG. I am H, the number two, the second power. Um, and I'm Heather Himes on Facebook and all that information is there. We also, so um, the Black War Dance has its own IG. It's called Get This War Dance. <laughs> and, um, and it's a national action. So if you if you do any uh, Google search, we should come up. Our website, uh, we have a toolkit that we're releasing today that has information how you can organize your own um, action wherever you are. So if you're in a small little city and you ain't, and it's just you, well, we got some, a toolkit for you to help you know how you can do that safely and effectively. Girl, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm, I'm gonna come out and at least watch. I don't. I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna dance. I might do my little two step. Breathe, but it's a little bit. We got a little breathe, a little yoga in the beginning. It's all right. You can do that part. <laughs> yeah. Class in the park is is open. You can come. We enter. Um, you will see an open field and bring your yoga mat and a bottle of water and just join us out there. No, Heather, I, again, I appreciate your voice. I appreciate your emotion. I appreciate your dance and the energy that you are bringing to this whole movement. And again, there are different ways to express ourselves, family. It doesn't just have to be in protest. It just doesn't have to be um, out there destroying things. We can actually create um, a good space for everyone. And I'm, I'm so in, in, enthralled to know that. Heather and the rest of the group are making sure that that energy moves forward and we are calling on our ancestors to make sure that this uh, this movement moves forward in a positive direction. Heather, I thank you so much, sis. Thank you, Ashe. Thank you so much.